Hi, she was seven. Okay, so I'm gonna do a video and I'm gonna title it Nice Women Finish Last. Okay. I have to do this video for y'all because there are too many overly nice females who end up not living the life they want because they were too nice. Okay. Too nice meaning being a doormat doing whatever the person says or wants, catering to their every need, never putting yourself first, okay? I had a friend, I'm not gonna name her name, but you know. I had a friend and she was very pretty. She was like, she used to date athletes, um, you know, party with, you know, celebrities, she even, um, you know, has a celebrity as one of her children's fathers. Now you would think that she would be living the life, but she's not because she was too nice. She was super nice and it took her years to even get to the point to like file child support, you know? And then when she finally filed child support, the person has so many other kids. <laughs> I'm, I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm just saying after she finally decided to file child support, this, this celebrity had so many kids already with other women who had filed child support before her. She was only going to get like barely what, you know, what she should have been getting. And so, um, and then, you know, the celebrity was not making, you know, things so you know money was dwindling and the celebrity left the country so they can't get she can't get money anymore so and and um you know she was so nice to you know that person she was nice to other guys that she dated before him she was she used to date other you know famous people she was too nice to them and they walked all over her. Like they would bring their laundry. Like when she was over their house, there would be other girls there. And this is sad. There would be other girls there and other guys. And they'd, you know, be chilling and hanging out, having a party. And the guy would bring his dirty laundry. Like they're not even like in a relationship. They're, she's just come over his house like maybe five times. Okay. So he brings his dirty laundry to her and puts it on the couch and says, hey, uh, go wash my clothes. And she gets up and goes and does it. While all these other girls are just partying and drinking and, you know, being catered to. She gets up and goes and wash the clothes. That was a test to see how easily this, this girl can be controlled. So she washed the clothes. And, okay, y'all listen, I'm there. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I used to hang out too, but. So I was there. So she washed the clothes and they come out of the dryer. It's time to fold. So she's taking out the clothes to fold them and guess what she's pulling out? Ladies underwear, female's underwear. So she starts folding the female underwear and putting them up and you know, in a little pile. And she looks at him, he goes, and like, and fold them you know and she kept folding i'm looking at her out of the side of my eye like what the hell are you doing are you crazy she folded them clothes up like it was no big deal and so i had to talk with her i was like what are you doing why are you folding that why are you doing this nasty laundry that's just you know she's like well it's like um you know i want to show him that i can make a good wife and you know uh i just want to show him that i'm domestic i was like no, you mean make a good maid because a wife is an equal as far as respect. You know, if you're going to marry somebody like him and he's rich, y'all going to have a maid. Okay. So <laughs> she was like, but that's just how I am. That's just how I am. I was like, well, I said, like, do you know? I said, do you know I'm so rude to people and they still like me? I tell them the truth and, you know, I don't. I don't let people walk over me and they respect me and you know you don't have to do that it's just like yeah I know but you know and so 
fast forward 12, 13 years. She should have been living in a mansion, driving in a nice car. She should be on a basketball wise or uh, love and hip hop. Okay, she should be there. She is living in a one bedroom apartment on the bad side of town with her child who's, how old is she? Nine or 10? Okay, eight, nine, I don't know. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One of those. Okay. And she works for like a delivery company, you know, that delivers packages. Because she was too nice. You know, even when she tried to date a regular guy, uh, she was too nice and they ran over her too. They were, they would, they would be dating, like seriously dating. And we would go out and hit um, and he, he would go out, whoever she was dating and they would be in the same club, like coincidence. They would see each other and he would not even acknowledge her. He would just walk away and be like, you know, I don't know you. And then like, then text her when the club closes, like, I'm like, you No. Okay, so if y'all are if y'all are like that, if you're a doormat, if you just let men walk all over you just because you think they're somebody or you think that they're gonna marry you because you're submissive and stuff like that, that is just not gonna happen because they have those people at their beck and call. They're called yes women. Women that says yes, yes, yes. When they marry somebody, they want a mother to raise their child. To, they need a mother who who is strong, shows respect. And, um, is a mentor and that's not gonna take no BS you know they want somebody that they can be proud of okay they don't want a doormat okay they're you're just there for their amusement if you're a doormat okay so ladies if you're being too extra nice you need to I'm sorry y'all y'all know this is a wig right <laughs> if y'all are being too nice y'all need to cut that out okay if a man can't respect you for who you really are and without you having to basically play a slave or a maid or a yes woman, then you're not supposed to be with that person, okay? You get out of there because you don't want to be, you don't want to end up where my friend end up, you know? And the funny thing is, <laughs> the funny thing is, like out of all our little group, she's doing the worst and she had the baby by the celebrity and I'm not talking about just some like one hit wonder I'm talking about legendary celebrity okay <sighs> and when I say legendary I mean like you know if you if I said his name everybody would know who he was okay so what I'm saying is, yes, women don't get it. Women who have respect for themselves, stand up for themselves, are strong, and, you know, know what they want. Don't, you don't have to prove your wife material unless you, until you got that ring. Okay? Until you have a ring, you're nobody's wife material. Okay? If they, if they see in you what they want in a wife without you having to flip over backwards then that's the man you want you don't want to have to show off and do flips like a monkey and a circus act in order to uh, make someone think you're wifey material no chances are if they're asking you to do certain things that they would never ask another woman to do you're the doormat okay um, so ladies, if your man is stringing you along, if your baby daddy is stringing you along, if your husband, what? Well, it's not gonna be a husband because they would treat their wife like that. They have too much to lose. Okay. If you're in a long-term relationship with someone who treats you like that, you need to get out because they don't really love you. They don't respect you. They're playing with your emotions. They're using you and you will end up in a place you don't wanna be, okay? And, I, and I'm saying this because my friend 
she should have been, you know, so much. And her niceness got her to where she is. Her niceness got her almost homeless. You know, her niceness got her and her child almost homeless. Now, there's a point where you need to draw the line with your niceness, you know. Sometimes in this world, you have to be fierce. You have to stand up. You have to be strong. And you can't just let people run over you. I don't care what the circumstance is. There's, I mean, a lot of people are nice because they have this hope that they'll get back with their ex. No, I guarantee you, if you start cutting people off left and right, people will um, understand how much you actually meant to them. You know, when you keep begging and holding on and holding on to a ray of hope, you just look pathetic. You know, and, and I'm just saying this because I have so many people that sometimes, you know, it's just they come to me and they tell me all these things and I'm like... I can see it from like a bird's eye view and they're just in it so they don't understand what I'm seeing I'm saying you know what you're being played they're never coming back to you your hope is it's not gonna it's not a good thing use that energy that you keep hope alive with to move forward in your life to learn and to stop depending on other people to make you happy, to accept you, to say, oh, you're, you're the one. No, you should be saying that to yourself. Yes, I'm the one. I'm the one who gets to choose who I want. You know, if you wait around waiting on someone to choose you, then what does that say about you? That you don't care and you'll just take anyone. No, if you, if you have someone in mind or a type of person in mind that you want, and you go after them or let them come after you without you having to submit then that's how how it needs to be you know a woman only submits to a man that she fully trusts who who fully can take care of her who she feels safe with who she would put her life in his hands so sub submission does not mean being a yes woman. It means being able to sleep at night with no anxiety, knowing your man has your back, knowing he's going to take care of you and your kids, knowing that he's going to provide and protect you just like, you know, a man's supposed to do. Okay. That's true submission, you know. If you're always constantly worried about a man, if he's never got any money, if he's not helping you out, if he's just, you know, doing this, this, and that, and making you worry, and then asks you to submit, and you do, that's false submit, submitment. And in the back of your mind, you're telling yourself that you're not worth anything. So y'all need to stop that. Only submit to a man who deserves it. And when I say submit, I don't mean bow down. I mean only exhale and feel secure that a man can handle the job so you don't have to worry. That's submitting. Like, for, for an example, if a man says, Honey, I'm tired. I worked all day. Um, my feet hurt. Can you please massage my feet? Can you massage my feet, baby? You know? And if you were staying at home all day, if you weren't doing nothing, if you got to sit in the lap of luxury, go shopping, have lattes with your friends at Starbucks, order stuff online, if you got to do all that and your man just got home from a 12-hour day and he's asking you to rub his feet and you say yes, that's not submitting. That's saying, baby, I appreciate what you do. Thank you. Here's your thanks because I got all these shopping bags. I got all this free time on my hands. You know, my friends and I had a good time at lunch today. So thank you. Okay, now let, let's flip the script. If a man went out to work and he said, hey, massage my feet, baby. But you just came home from work too. And your feet hurt even worse because, you know, you probably wore heels or some uncomfortable shoes. And... You say, well, I need to massage my feet too, baby, at the same time. He's like, no, I don't want to do that. Do me. You know, that's, that's the sign right there. You know, I know a lot of people have to work. I know, like, it takes two incomes 
I, don't, I might not agree with it because that's not how I was raised. But I know some people do. But, you know, if your man asks you to submit to him and he doesn't deserve it, like in your mental, but you do it anyway, you're setting yourself up for failure in that relationship. Okay? So thank y'all for watching. Thumbs up if you agree. I'll see y'all later. Peace.